now coming to the next slide application in mechanical engineering pca application in mechanical engineering study of shape design via principal component analysis and its optimization shape para shape parameterization method using principal component analysis is proposed so as to express the shape with a greater degree of freedom so here we can see this is how the pca is used in mechanical engineering this is the general flow chart we will come here that is the first one is a prepare multiple references shapes the next one is a discretization is shape as a sequence of points create vector coordinate values and the, it is connected by principal component analysis on created vectors then next one is related to remove higher order terms of basis vectors so and the last one is a create new shapes from basic vectors so the from the starting of this the prepare multiple <coughs> references shapes then later on it will be discretize each shape as a sequence of points create vectors of coordinate values and then later on pca <coughs> is created on vectors then it is further proceed for remove higher order terms of basic vectors and create new shapes from basic shapes or basic vector so the how the general flow chart will be held in pca application of engineering and mechanical engineering and then application of principal component analysis of time frequency representation of gearbox fault detection the author proposed application of pca as a dimensionality reduction method on time frequency representation of the input data in a such a way that the dimension of frequency is reduced in this way the variance maximized in the first principal component is expected to capture the cyclic information which is related to the damage representing damage present in the machine pc is applied to short term fourier transform of measured vibration to reduce dimensionality <coughs> here what they say that to reduce the dimensional effect the pc is used on the time frequency domain and for that the cyclic information are provided with the to diagnose the damage presence in the machine so the basically pc use the short term fourier transformation to measure the vibration to reduce the dimensionality here what they want to say now this come into the uh, graphics formation the application of principal component analysis of time frequency representation of gear box fault detection are mentioned here now here you can see that this, there is a frequency versus time patterns are given the red one means is fault frequency or in critical with respect to time and the green one is natural frequency so generally it with the help of the frequency or with the help of the cyclic wave formation it will detect the fault in the gearbox with the help of the data sets as we can see the pca gives the time versus amplitude amplitude uh, figures statistical figures the input vibrational signals may seen in figure 1 that is this one figure and after that the spectrum input signal is like this one figure which is we plotted with the help of the frequency versus amplitude and uh, la- the next one is the result of pca and the principal component 1 amplitude versus time for the input vibrational signals this is this 
this is this one and these are the correlated to each other these two figures and the spect spectrum of pc1 for the input signal so this is this this is how the principal component analysis with the help of this how it will be plotted using the overall spectrum now coming to the next application in mechanical engineering feature extraction and selection scheme of intelligent fault engine fault diagnosis engine with sensors passes the signal to signal acquisition system and this is nothing but the data acquisition this is the previously we learned in data acquisition system and then later on it started the vibration signals and that stand forms with the high with the help of the two dimensional nff so this is again comes into the feature extraction techniques and the original feature subsets are the filter methods based on mutual informations and that will candidate features sub subsets the wrapper method based on nsga2 this is a hybrid feature selection scheme so it may consist of the hybrid or it may consist of the manual selection of that subset for feature extraction and the last one is a classification that is the final optimal feature subset which classifier as a output and engine fault diagnosis diagnosis this is how the application of the mechanical engineering in which the feature extraction and feature selection scheme for intelligent engine fault diagnostics is used now the feature extraction and the feature selection scheme for intelligent engine fault diagnostics are given by some certain examples that is the first column is a classifier which may have the knc knnc and the feature subset are f original f nmr fnsg f mrm Now the dimension of the feature subset 140 25 7 computation times is none the second one is a 2.54 100.3 49.6 and the classification of accuracy is 92 96 100 100 this is how it is the feature extraction and feature selection scheme in intelligent engine fault diagnosis is used this these are all laboratorical uh, laboratory data sets having the various classifiers is used and give various output consisting of the accuracy of the result this is the standard chart is came from the testing laboratories this is how it is used